Just wanted to share with you my ECM tester for the 01 through 05 Gold Wings. And I'm using my new Go Ultra Insta camera to videotape this. So it's the first time I've used this camera. We'll see how this works out. Um, show you a little bit around the tester. Now I cannot take full credit for this. Uh, 98 Valk on the Goldwing form uh, originally built this and I have modified it, uh, adding some different features and functions to it. So anyway, show you around the tester a little bit. This is the side stand switch. Put the side stand up and down. Uh, this is the switch for reading out the fault codes. That's a service switch. This is the Goldwing engine, believe it or not. It's a three volt electrical engine. Bet you didn't know Goldwing had an electric engine on it. So it turns this wheel and down at the bottom of this wheel are little optical sensors. There's two optical sensors down there. One of them is for the uh, crankshaft pulse sensor. The other one is for the camshaft pulse sensor. Notice the camshaft pulse wheel only has three holes in it and of course the optical wheel for the uh, timing sensor has a lot more holes in it. And there's some various circuits on here. There's a circuit to duplicate the knock sensor. Uh, there's circuits to measure the pulse outputs of those optical wheels and the, the timing pulse is going to the ignition and there's two lights here there's a red light and a green light and you'll see those come on when I power it up uh, the red light is the fault indicator which is basically the same thing as the FI light on your instrument panel the green light is for the fuel injection system and it, it indicates when the fuel pump is running. And you'll see that green light come on and the red light come on briefly when I power it up and then both go off, which is identical to what happens when you turn the key on your gold wing. You'll hear the, the fuel pump will run for a few seconds. The FI light will come on and then should go off. So I've got an ECM here plugged into it. This is an ECM that has been completely, totally depotted. It is a fully functional ECM. And I've got various uh, meters here to read. I've got a meter for the barrel sensor. I've got a, a meter here for the ECT sensor which is the engine coolant temp. Barrel is of course the barometric pressure. The TPS readout here is for your throttle position sensor and I can control those inputs with these pots going into the engine. Um, over here on the magnifier that's actually one of the uh, knock sensor modules that goes bad so that's what one of those one of those little modules looks like um, and this is the map of the various sensors the schematic that uh, we have of all the all the sensors that we have connected and that we are using on that ECM right now so we've got all that stuff hooked up and it's ready to run uh, so let's turn it on here come over to my power supply I apply power you'll see let me do that again me turn it off and turn it back on I'm gonna apply power and you're going to see the green and the red lights come on and then you'll see them go off okay over here we have the 5 volt output for uh, the various sensors on the bike and this is an output from the ECM this is our 12 volt input these are the readouts from ECT barrow and TPS and I ran out of I ran out of voltmeters I probably need to add some more for some of the other sensors so I'm going to turn the ignition on here and start the engine here we go all right so the engine's running and now you see 
I'm not sure if you'll see this on the camera or not, but you see these little lights kind of flashing that LEDs may not pick up properly. But you also see the red lights out, the green lights on, the fuel pump is running. Okay, if we look over here on the scope, you can see the lower blue channel I have hooked up to the knock sensors. So those are actually the knock signals we're simulating and sending into the ECM. The upper uh, trace in yellow is the pulses to the uh, fuel injectors, injectors. So if I come over here and turn this TPS, which is your throttle position sensor, this simulates me adjusting the throttle and you'll see this voltage change as I do as I turn that. And as I turn that, you'll see these pulses for the timing signals going to the injectors. You'll see those pulses slightly get wider and narrower as I adjust those. So as I turn it up and turn it down, I think so I'm turning it down now. They're getting very narrow. And so as I make adjustments to that throttle position sensor, simulating turning throttle you can see that it changes uh, how much pulse width is going to the injector so that's your injector timing signal basically and that's your ECM telling telling the you know telling the injectors to add or subtract gas uh, basically same thing a carburetor does right so there it is got the little thing running and got the little wheel spinning got the ECM on got it cooking this is a good ECM you know even though it's been depotted it's actually still fully functional and there's the little tester and over here I have some ECMs uh, three of these have been repaired one of these is in a repairing process state. I've depotted the and removed the uh, knock sensor modules from it. I've not installed new ones in it yet. So anyway, that's my repair process and my little tester. And just thought I'd share that little video with you. There's the... Uh, schematic for the fuel injection system and uh, anyway that's my little test bench just thought I'd share it with you and try out my new camera